Hey guys, we're uh, here just to get a look at the uh, door handle hardware installation jigs. And uh, we have a Dewalt one, which is right here. Very, uh, very robust. Um, and then we have the Milwaukee one. And on the, like, looking at them, I was like, Dewalt's got a nice strong one. It's over molded, it's got lots of plastic. And I was looking at the, the Milwaukee one, I can see, okay, there's, some, there's more thought going into this one. Um, so we'll start with the Dewalt one first. I chose this one based off of, well actually, the reason, there's reasons why. Well, I'll get into that in a second. Um, I use this one the most because it was literally the better one, but not by far. Um, when I'm cutting into a, a door on my own, I'll use a hole saw on one side, and I come through. And then when you see the uh, the drill bit coming through, I go around to the other side and I finish that cut. That way you're not punching through finished material. You got a nice cut on both sides. Um, the one thing I liked about the Dewalt is uh, it has lots of, um, for the centering lines and stuff, but you can see everything you need to see, and it's very easy to use. Uh, the Milwaukee one, again, has the same thing, except the Dewalt has more cutouts. Like, for example, that's cut out there. Um, this is a cutout. You got your uh, little peephole there. So that kind of, it, you see everything. And then again, in the uh, center here, um, you can see what exactly what is going on. Now this is where it was a little bit weak because over here we have four leveling devices or one, uh, four devices to get so you can find your lines because I check everything I can when I do this because you need your, you need this and you need things to be exact. No question about it. You make sure your drill is level, you make sure your drill is in a, in a square position and whatnot. Like, so again here, this is where it was weak, where the Dewalt was stronger. You have a little uh, peephole there, but it's, you can barely see it, and you got the lines just to kind of line it up and whatnot. And one thing I did like about this, for to go for between a, uh, the two doors there, um, was, which is awesome, and it, this is auto-centering. So when you clamp this on the door, it centers up right in the center. Um, so again, a, an inch and three-eighths door or an inch and uh, three-quarters door, it does not matter. Whereas the Dewalt, I had to pop this out, and you'll see that in the video. It's a little, usually you're a little easier than that, but hey, whatever. Um, and you just flip it around, and that's all it is. So that's ingenious too, which I enjoyed. Um, but you don't really need to worry about the level or centering of that so much. But it was just nice to have the reference lens, and that's what I'll call them. We're gonna call these the reference lens, so. Reference line going all the way down here. This is the one where I like it better, because you have the reference line going all the way across, and you have the people. Um, again, like I said, get your reference lines. Overall, face value, both good units. Where I had the uh, difference in opinion is when uh, I was using the Milwaukee, and if you, can, if you take the latch plate uh, hole saw, um, they both look identical, right? Well, you'll see that the teeth on the D1 one are just slightly longer. And then the other part of this is uh, it stops right here. And in some cases, like if you're doing uh, two and three quarters uh, handle for the center, you need that little bit. The Dewalt has just a bit longer hole saw and it's actually a bit further in. So beyond that point there, you can see there that it's a deeper one. Even though they both line up, you can see where it's welded here and this is actually welded up there. And that's where the difference is. So when I was using the Milwaukee version of this, I would get through the door and I couldn't finish without punching through. Whereas the Dewalt one, allowed me to cut it and go through and keep a nice smooth finish, which you'll see that in the video. So overall, seven out of 10, I gave this a six out of 10 for that issue right there. On um, both good units, anybody can use these things. I typically just uh, grab a hole saw for the latch plate, a hole saw for the, uh, for the door handle, and uh, away I go after I make all my marks. Um, it's, I found it to be either just as fast or it would, at the beginning it might be a little bit slower um the other thing about this piece since we're talking about it is milwaukee came with a lot of extra drill bits that uh, i didn't necessarily need but i'm glad they were there um the whole saw itself is a two-step as in i have an adapter here so that i can use this one so it kind of looks like they uh, um they would they just kind of like use what they already had on the market Whereas Dewalt, well, this this bit here fits into uh, the latch plate hole saw and 
the uh, the doorknob hole saw, which is easy to get through. Um, this was a bit encumbersome because this would because it reverse threaded, right? So when you try to uh, get it with all to work, it uh, it just doesn't always come out plumb and square just because you want it to, so you have to work at it. That all being said, both are good units. I would recommend the DeWalt one over the Milwaukee, even though I had higher hopes for the Milwaukee based on its uh, auto centering, which was, it's bang on, uh, the way it, the way they have set it up. And I do like the way this is as well, just being able to flip through if you wanted to change it. Do I need that? No, not really, because when you have it already set up the way you want it, um, well, it's the way you want it. Anyways, let's see the video. So here we have the DeWalt jig. As you can see, the lines I made, you can, you can visibly confirm them with the unit itself. Now, you don't necessarily need the latch uh, keyhole reference lines, but the other ones that are, are there are awesome and they're on par. Now, when you, once you undo this, you can actually uh, change out, say if you wanted to change where the doorknob is placed, you just press out the, uh, the little jig there and you're able to change everything you need to change. Now, this unit itself is very robust because as I was already saying, I can see this lasting a while longer and it's easy to flip around to finish off the, uh, the hole saw if you wanted to do that. Um, I typically don't, but the option is there just to have that additional guide. And like I said, you can pop these out very easily. So, and here's one uh, I'm just showing you, you can pop out the, uh, the doorknob one. Um, just make sure, and the, the ratios on this, like the, the margins, are very close for the whole song and whatnot. Whereas the Milwaukee was a little bit less, so there was a lot of play in between. The DeWalt one is very close in its margins. And they're easy to adjust them for the, uh, the inch and three eighths door or the inch and uh, three, uh, yeah, three quarters door. Which I was using on an inch and three eighths door, but I used it mostly on an inch and uh, three quarters door, and everything came out perfect. Now here is the Milwaukee, the one I had high hopes for. Reference lines look really good. It's easy. It's even easier to change up the, uh, the where the doorknob is placing. I did particularly enjoy the uh, auto centering latch, or, or sorry, the auto centering for uh, where you put the holes on for the latch. And uh, it's got reference lines right there, which the DeWalt didn't. Not that you need them on the DeWalt, but it would have been nice just to have them anyways. They're reference lines for a reason. Um, so the Milwaukee overall looks better and it functions just as well. It's only in the hardware where Milwaukee was losing out in my mind. Um, so anyways, let's uh, see how this thing functions or how these things function. We'll start off with the DeWalt, and here's me showing you how close it is in the, uh, the jig with the hole saw. And typically, I'll go in with a hole saw, and I'll, let, I'll come out just to let it uh, let all the debris fall. And I keep the DeWalt drill, or any drill, I use the, uh, the clutch mechanism. And uh, let just make sure you don't twist your wrist. Now, this is me on the, no, I'm not on the other side of the door yet. I'm watching it come through the other side of the door. Now let's just take a look to see how the Milwaukee lines up. We're not actually going to test anything. And uh, the Milwaukee lines up perfectly. So as you can see, both of these units are really close. Now we're just going to the other side of the door. We're going to stick the whole side in. And you're going to see that it is on par with the other side. Now we're going to drill this out. So we're going to finish drilling this out. And it'll show you on the, um, the cutout piece that uh, both of these things line up. So my practice of uh, cutting through one side until you see the drill bit seam is proper because then you just go to the other side and that way you have two finished products beautifully lining up. Now here we are using the Milwaukee and I wanna to demonstrate to you to the problem that I had where uh, the hole saw does not have enough depth for the two and three quarter, which is what I was using today. So that's it all centered up. I just want to show you guys that as I take it, take the, uh, the jig off. That's what the jig's for, it doesn't need to stay on there. So here we're cutting it out, and we're gonna finish cutting this with the Milwaukee hole saw. At the end of it, and as you'll see, you can't go any further. It is literally stuck just before the two and three quarter mark. So, 
I can't go any further unless I force the issue. Now, where I came in, and that changes up, is, uh, oh, okay. I can either force the issue, or I can go to a VLOP, which is what I ended up doing. Once I realized I couldn't go any further, as I was demonstrating, we go to the DWALP. And that's where we uh, we end off. Now, with the DWALP in action, you see how quickly that last little bit, the eighth of an inch or three sixteenths of an inch that is needed, it is able to make quick work of the, uh, the door handle. I'm just kind of pointing it out there where that is and, and showing you guys again the difference between these two hole saws as uh, per uh, Milwaukee. So a little bit of a little bit of a a misstep for them. But all in all, we have two really good products. I do like the uh, reference lines on the Milwaukee. The centering on the Milwaukee does auto centering, which is awesome. But uh, I don't think uh, their hardware kind of lines up. Whereas the Dewalt's made it easy for us. And this is just me showing you the door that we cut out together. And it's perfect. Obviously, I did the latch plate by hand. And, uh, well, thanks for watching. And I hope you find this informative for your future endeavors. If you were to purchase uh, either a Milwaukee or a DeWalt door handle jig. So, thanks for watching, guys. And I will catch you in the next one.